We all know the four operations in math: add, subtract, multiply, and divide. And we can easily operate that these days with、um, whole numbers. And in this section, we're going to review how we can do that with fractions. Before we do that, let's do a quick review of how to reduce a fraction to its lowest terms. And the example here, oops, sorry. The example here is. Eighteen over twenty-four. To reduce a fraction to its lowest terms, right here, it means that the numerator and the denominator has to be, there has to be no common factors. So the way to do it is to make sure that you factor the numerator and the denominator with all prime factors. So eighteen can be factored into two times nine. Nine obviously is not a prime factor, and so we can further factor nine into three times three. I just rewrote nine, right? So twelve. I'm sorry, twenty-four can be factored into two times twelve, and twelve is not a prime. Oops, twelve is not a prime number, so I can、um, I can rewrite twelve into two times six. Six is not a prime number. Two is a prime number, so I'm gonna rewrite six into two times three. Now, in both the numerator and the denominator, I have nothing but prime numbers, and I can start canceling. I can cancel the two here. I can cancel the three here. What's left upstairs in the numerator is just a three. And at the bottom here is two times two. So I have four. So eighteen over twenty-four equals three over four. It's three fourths. Okay. And next example, rewriting a fraction with a larger denominator. So it's also known as equivalent fraction. So it says here, change each fraction to an equivalent fraction with an indicated denominator. The key being equivalent fraction here. So let's see how we do it here. Very much like how we reduce fractions to the lowest terms, we do it backwards. So, the question is, I'm rewriting, I the eight. How do I make eight into forty-two? So I can re、uh, thirty-two. I can rewrite the thirty-two into eight times four. Now I know if I have eight times four, I would have thirty-two. Therefore, if I just time the numerator by the same number four, and notice here, four over four will make a big one here, right? So that's how we know that this equation sign still works. Now, if I expand it that way, I now would have three times four is twelve. Eight times four is thirty-two. So in other words, twelve over thirty-two is the same as three eighth, and these two are called equivalent fractions. So let's look at the next one. Five over four should equal to what? E over fifty-six. I can rewrite fifty-six into four times fourteen. Therefore, if I just multiply five by fourteen, I should have the equivalent fraction of This would be、uh, wait. What's fourteen、um, times five? Should be seventy. So seventy over fifty-six is the equivalent fraction for five over four, right there. Okay. So to here we go to multiply fractions.、Um, to multiply two fractions. Very easy. Upstairs times upstairs, downstairs times downstairs. Let's look at this example here. Like I said, upstairs times upstairs, downstairs times downstairs. That's it. Okay. Now pay attention to here. Before you start multiplying using your calculator, we all have the tendency to jump straight into the calculation part. You should always cancel as much as possible. Why? Because the more we cancel, the more we can keep the number small, and that way makes our 
calculation much easier. So um, right here, I have five upstairs, five downstairs. I can cancel these two. My final answer is 3 eighths. Okay, um, second example, upstairs times upstairs, downstairs times downstairs. Nothing in common. There's nothing to cancel. Uh, actually, that's not true. I've got a 3 here, and 9 can be rewritten as 3 times 3. I cancel a 3 there. I have 3 at the bottom. So my final answer is negative 5 over 33. Make sure that you carry the negative sign. Um, do not drop that sign. That's a common mistake right there. Now, mixed numbers. Remember how to write mixed number back into an improper fraction? You can multiply mixed numbers easily. So if I have to write 1 and 3 quarters, so I use 1 times 4 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7, so that's 7 fourths. Multiplied by on this side, 2 and 2 fifths, 2 times 5 is 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. I just rewrote that. Upstairs times upstairs, downstairs times downstairs, but I can cancel first, right? And now I have downstairs is 1 times 5, which is 5. Upstairs is 3 times 7 is 21. In high school, improper fraction is totally legal. There is absolutely no need to convert it into a decimal unless you're, you're asked to do so. Division. Um, division is a little tricky. Um, you have to, you have, what you do is that you keep the first term, the first number, whether it's a whole number or a fraction, then you have to switch the, the, the uh, operation from division to multiplication. And then the most tricky part is the last part, is the second the divisor, you have to turn it into a reciprocal. So in this process, I call this, um, I call this KFC, just like Kentucky Fried Chicken, it stands for keep, flip, change. In other words, when you see a division that involves fractions, you keep the first term, and then you flip the sign to go, so that it changes from um, a division into a multiplication, and then you um, uh, change the last the the last term. So it changed into a reciprocal. So let's see how we do this. In this example A right here, if I follow the KFC, K is to keep. Keep, okay. So I'm keeping three quarters. And now I'm flipping the division sign into a multiplication sign. And then, so that's flip. And now I change. I change the divisor into a reciprocal. A reciprocal is, simply means upstairs comes to downstairs, downstairs go up. Literally, it's a, it's a flip. Make sure you carry the negative sign. Now, upstairs times upstairs, downstairs times downstairs, because now we know it's a multiplication right here. It's no longer a division. Multiplication is simply upstairs times upstairs, downstairs times downstairs. But now let's cancel first. So that's a 2 there. And now I can carry the negative sign. 2 times 3 is 6, and 1 times 5 is 5 at the bottom. That's a 1 there. Okay? So... Let's look at the second example. I uh, keep K, F, flip into a multiplication and change the last term. There we go. So now in this one, I have nothing to cancel. And because I changed into a multiplication, upstairs times upstairs, downstairs times downstairs. This is B. And this is A. So again, keep the first term, flip the sign, change the last term into a reciprocal, KFC. That's what you need to remember for, for dividing fractions. Okay, guys, I'll see you in class.